Welcome to Mint. I am Kirti Rao. In this edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Rahul Chandran from Bangalore. Welcome to the show, Rahul. Thanks, Kirti. We are here to discuss the dedicated freight corridor corporation, which has pointed out that the concession agreement being signed with the railways will not allow it to deal with private parties. Uh, so, Rahul, what really is the issue here, and what is the contention between the DFC and the railways? Kirti, the uh, central issue, it, it isn't, there are sections uh, within the railways uh, who feel that uh, the DFC ought to be uh, allowed uh, to be at arm's length from the railways, uh, which means that uh, they ought to be allowed to uh, enter, the, I mean, they ought to be sp able to speak to uh, potential customers by themselves, they ought to be able to hit the equity markets uh, by themselves, that sort of thing. Uh, there's another section which feels that they ought to be a in-house construction arm of the railways, which means that their job is only to build the de dedicated freight corridor network okay. and nothing else. And uh, the story kind of talks about uh, that uh, kind of difference of opinion about what exactly the DFC is. What are DFCs and why do we need to have dedicated freight lanes? So uh, the DFC is basically a network of uh, track that, that is solely meant for freight trains, uh, which are meant to run freight trains between two uh, corridors of the country, uh, the eastern and the western corridor. Yeah. Why we need them is because currently, in the current system, what's happening is the same sets of tracks are being used for both the freight trains and the passenger trains, you know. The, I mean, yeah. so the end result, of course, is uh, heavy congestion and you can't run too many freight trains, that kind of thing. Right. So the dedicated uh, freight corridors are meant, the corridor is meant basically to ease congestion and have uh, uh, separate tracks for freight trains so you can run more freight trains. So Rahul, could you tell us why is this confusion between the uh, DFC and the railways important? Uh, what it, so there's, there's a basic uh, confusion whether we ought, they ought to look at the uh, freight corridor as, I mean the company building the freight corridors as uh, kind of solely a construction company or do you uh, go ahead and uh, think of them as an as an operator, and uh, you know, and uh, return equity to the main uh, stakeholder, yeah. which is uh, basically the Indian Railways. So uh, it's basically how how do you so in effect freight uh, the freight uh, traffic subsidizes passenger traffic even today. Now the question is. Do, do you continue doing it the way the railway has always been doing it, which is allow them to collect revenues from both freight and passenger and them to offset uh, passenger uh, costs by uh, freight? Or do you allow a company that uh, to do this and their revenues ultimately flow into the President of India through the Indian Railways? Thank you for your insights, Rahul. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.